Hey, what is up guys? My name is Chris and welcome back to God of War. Gonna continue on. Just finally got Atreus back on his feet. Oh, sorry about that, buddy. And now we are gonna... We have a new quest. I forget the name of it. Um... So that still gives me there. And look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I found out that on Atreus, if you push up on the D-pad, it changes his arrow damage type. Which, y'all been paying attention, y'all know that I've seen, there have been multiple times where I'm like, man, I wish I had, could get my light arrows back so I could do this thing. Well, and I knew there was a way to do it. I just thought maybe it's something I hadn't unlocked yet. Well, turns out I could do, could have done it all along, and it was a trusty old D-pad, and I couldn't figure that out. So I'm going to have a lot of backtracking to do later on after we beat the game. Still got my mirror's head with us. Oh, look at him. He's even blinking his eyeball looking around. Man, the attention to detail in this game is ridiculous. I still didn't quite understand why she was so adamant against those arrows from before. I don't remember where we got them either. I feel like it was from the dwarf. Ah, see? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. The Black Rune. Uh-oh. Wonder who it was that called the serpent. And what that's all about. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth. I am a god boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is... I was born a god. And so were you. Boy. Have you nothing to say? Um... Can I... Turn into an animal? <laughs> Such a kid question. Turn into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I had hoped to spare you. Being a god. It can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? <laughs> I don't... feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, you will learn. 
I am so happy for him that he told him. <laughs> it's such a kid question. Can I be an animal? <laughs> you are welcome to surprise me. That is such a fun little exchange. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Rock and Sindri? They do not need to know. <gasps> Boulder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Chair's vault, do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want. Nah, uh, it's not like that, kid. I will show you. Right now, I feel like running over these barrels with my boat. Getting some hacked silver. And then I want to go to where the hand tells me to go. Okay. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last. But how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities, and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. Hmm. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. Aye, lad. So would I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this again without interruptions. Oh, yeah, we gotta go back to the language room or whatever. Man, it's gonna be so hard to not just whip out the blades of chaos every time. Read it. Death itself I swallow to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Uh... So what do I need to do? I need to do something, yeah? Hmm. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Okay. I'm just gonna go around looking for... Oop, can't go that way. Go. Yeah. Well, what in the world was I doing? I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. 
Once in a moon, it's been known to happen, yes. Hmm. Oh, another one. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. The same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim Tower. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the giants working together. Oh, snap. Here we go. Where is this black dude? Don't know. I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! Uh-oh. Is that a big ring? An even bigger ring? Naturally. An even bigger ring? They've got those Helheim uh, windstones in them. See? No. It's kind of hoping, though. So what now? Who's oh, that up there? The winds of hell. The winds of what? Oh, we forgot to mention that. When you were sick, we went to Helheim to get your cure. You did? Terrible experience, by the by. Your dad picked up a new trick, though, with a little help from Brock. Hmm. Brock was there, too? I... But... Oh, okay. We'll get back. Pretty sure that's the right thing to do. I just don't think I'm getting there quick enough. What's this about? Ah, a ski and do from my homeland. Used to have one of Owen back in the day. You should take it, boy. Yes, boy. Take it. We might need to butter bread somewhere in our travels. This is why no one likes you. Ah. <laughs> Is there a chest or something around here? Before I go try to do the wind thing again? It's over here. Uh-oh. That looks dangerous. We're just gonna have a look around real quick. Kind of scope the land. Oh man, you didn't look too friendly. Oh, check this out. A thing we can climb. Uh. Uh oh. I don't know what I'm doing, or where I'm going, or why I'm going there. Nice. Cool. We made it up here where there's a door lock that we can't do anything with. What of these? Thought is faster than wind. Solving problems with our heads rather than our feet. Suits me fine. 
Okay. Oh, look at that axe. That one looks cool. I mean, not as cool as mine, but still. Pretty cool. Nope, not yet, not yet. For someone so loved, Tyr sure was paranoid. Ah, thanks to Odin, with good reason. Hmm. Can't seem to open any of these. All right, let's go try our wind thing again. Where is it again? Right there. Come look at this. What am I looking at? That thing? Who was the clear version of it do? That one's health. I'm gonna do it again when it's, uh... There we go. I think that's what he was telling me to look at. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm going over there. Nice. Uh oh. Well, that's unfriendly. Yep, I would agree with you. Look, small passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. Too small for father. No, that'll be fine. Oh, snap. Woo! Rhea's not here to bring you back if you're cutting too. Quiet head. Uh... Oh, snap. Okay. There we go. Uh-oh. How am I going to get the wind in here? What are we looking at? Oh, check out that thing right next to him. With his picture, with the Blades of Chaos. Uh-oh, is his head stuck? You find? Enough distraction. Do not forget why we are here. <laughs> his head is stuck. Okay. Oh, no it's not. <laughs> 